In Acts chapter 4, Peter and John stand trial in front of the Sanhedrin. Now the Sanhedrin was the supreme Jewish religious, political, and legal council in Jerusalem during New Testament times. Now it's a combination of two Greek words, sin, meaning together, and hedra, meaning seat. So I guess it's to have a seat together. Now in Greek literature, Sanhedrin was often a council of representatives from various constituencies. The rabbis legitimized the Sanhedrin by tracing it back to Moses and his 70 elders found in Deuteronomy 27. However, apart from this verse, there really wasn't anything like the Sanhedrin instituted at that time. The real origin of the Sanhedrin comes from the days of Nehemiah and Ezra, when they rebuild Jerusalem after the exile. The community was headed by the priestly nobility, which formed an aristocratic council. Now, when the Greeks conquered Israel, these Hellenistic kings gave some freedom to the Jews, so this council grew in power. But right before Herod was king in 40 BC, he actually stood on trial by the Sanhedrin. But by 37 BC, he became king and he retaliated by killing everyone in the Sanhedrin and replaced them with priests who had no political power. But whenever Rome established a, a procurator to be in charge in 6 AD, the Sanhedrin was reestablished as the Supreme Court of Justice. The Sanhedrin was made up of 70 people, and the key figures were, number one, the chief priest, who were the former high priest and Sadducees. The second tier were the scribes, and the third tier were elders, who were priests and Pharisees. So there you go, a little bit about the Sanhedrin, and that's enough today for our Historical Minute.